Hey, what is up guys? Tonight, today's video will be an update on the DPS meter because the previous one I recommended to everybody is not working so well after testing it a little bit further. And I think the creator might have abandoned it already. So here's two other alternatives that is working and a lot of people are using it right now. We're going to start with the one on the left side here first. Now this one is made by Danny Dog. It is called Star Resonance DPS. And all you're going to do is head over to this page, go to the right side, underneath release click on the latest one once you're here on this page go ahead and install the dps 2.0.5 en.zip once you have downloaded this make sure to click on it and then just drag to desktop and that's all you got to do i already have one here as you can see so i'm going to cancel this and i'm going to open it and then make sure to install the npcap 1.83.exe first and then uh, once you open the star resonant dps analysis.exe that's basically the dps meter that you want to keep and it just works now once you have it open and you're in the game you can adjust this however you want so you can make it bigger or smaller or you can uh, have it on light mode or dark mode if you go to the settings icon go to settings um you can change the transparency here i like to have it around like 70 ish um so it doesn't block out the entire square here so i can still see a little bit through the dps meter so i'm going to show you i'm going to use some random skills here i'm going to show you how it looks like so here's what it looks like and then if you click on the meter i think if you left click it it will go into like a really extremely detailed breakdown on your total dps your crit or your luck and what skills did what damage and how much did it do how many hits how many crit etc which can be helpful in analyzing your dps log and within these settings i also recommend increasing the clear data when out of combat delay to like maybe 60 seconds just so it doesn't like clear the the raid dps in the middle of a raid when the boss has like some like cutscene in between i also believe this one can be used for anyone using exalag i think my friend tested it out and is working for him now here's option number two uh bpsr logs i'll also be linking this in the description as well as the comment section for both of these dps meters so head over release here on the right side click on the bpsr logs 0.20.0 x64 en usmsi this is the one i downloaded so when you download it um it might say you know it isn't commonly downloaded so i have checked this briefly uh it seems to be fine and i see a lot of other people using it as well um so just go ahead and keep this file it's gonna ask you again but you want to keep it anyway so and then just go ahead and install that it's like a regular installer and once you have installed it it should have a bpsr logs in your desktop now you just click and open that and then it will show up like this and then we're gonna go back into the game so now for this one you have a little bit more customization if you click on the settings icon um you could hide your ability score you can hide other people's ability score you can hide your name or you can just make it show your class and stuff like that also and here at the bottom you can also adjust how long before it resets itself um so i have it on 60 seconds just in case you know same again maybe during a raid boss it's gonna be like a cutscene in between and there's also something called relative to top dps player i'm not sure what it actually does and here you can also shorten the ability score so make it a little bit more compact if you go to live here you can adjust what kind of details you see you can even show the lucky rates how many total hits uh etc and i think this meter is also integrated with the bptimer.com which is a website made by the bpsr farmers discord server so with this plugin you can automatically update that website and report it to to this uh, website which shows you the world boss their hp which line you're on and then it basically shares to everybody else so that's something to keep in mind of and here i'm going to quickly showcase it and see what it looks like So I think this one is a little bit more compact than the other one, but I think both are pretty similar and not that different. And it's up, totally up to you which one you use. You may see a question question mark here, but uh, I think this only happens when I'm outside of an instance. So if you're in a dungeon or in a raid, your name will show up. But outside of dungeons and raids, your name doesn't show up. For some reason, you get a question mark. But that's not really a big deal. Nobody uses the meter outside of dungeons or raids anyway. So so now we're going to quickly do a quick comparison in a uh, unstable dungeon real quick. And I'm just going to go auto combat. should be pretty quick. So as you can see, they're both, you know, pretty much the same. In my opinion, they're like, they're not that different. Uh, there's only four people on the meter. So this one guy literally just AFK for some reason. Okay. Um, as you can see here, it's uh, totally up to you. It's totally personal preference, which one you use. Oh, I, I did forget to uh, apply the transparent mode here. I think I'm going to have this on 80%, the transparent mode for the, uh, for the one here. So in my opinion, I think this one looks nicer. This one looks a little nicer, the font and the stuff and the, the layout. So that's going to be it for this video. If you found it helpful, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more future Blue Protocol content. Click here to check out another video of mine. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.